welcome back to another pseudo vlog. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I had a pretty good weekend overall. This weekend I worked on trying to figure out some new packaging and I'm gonna show you guys that in a little bit. It took a really, really long time and a lot of tries, but I think I finally figured out what I'm going to do. Also, my acrylic keychains and my acrylic pen is supposed to arrive tomorrow before the end of the day and I'm super, super excited. I'm getting really impatient because i'm hoping that they come out well but we'll see about that tomorrow i was thinking about having the shop update on april 30th but if we get the acrylic kitchens tomorrow i can work on putting uv resin on them before the end of the week so maybe i can have that shop update a little bit before what i thought i was going to i would at least like to have at least one more piece of artwork or sticker or print or something to put as a monthly bundle so that's going to be a goal for this week and next week as well also worked on a new drawing it turned out a lot different than what i thought it would be at the beginning i wanted the mountains to have a rainbow behind them in the end i still like how it turned out I ended up putting a moon behind the mountains and experimenting more with night scenes today's goal is to make more of the packaging let's get started so before we start i just want to show you guys the new setup we changed the direction of my desk it was sticking out horizontally this way but then we flipped it back against the wall so it makes the room look a lot nicer and bigger and it just looks brighter the only thing i'm worried about is that there's not gonna be as many camera angles to film from so it might not be as interesting but we'll figure that out as we go along with this my husband got me these super awesome wheels and it slides really really easy so it's really nice to kind of just glide between my craft table and my desktop. I also got some Happy Milk and I opened it up because I was excited to get it. These are some really cute stickers from Kawaii Art Cafe. Kathleen is really, really sweet. I bought this sticker from her. Her holographic sticker, the art is a real job. It's so cute and it's really nice and big. She gave me these two cute little stickers along with my order. Here is Kathleen's social media. If you guys want to check her out, this is what I've been working on. This is Walton. The funny thing is he was supposed to be a bear, but he just ended up becoming a squirrel. So we are living the squirrel packaging life now. I wanted him to be a contour so he would look more like this. And it's super cute. I didn't want to use any ink to create this packaging, but he's too chunky for my five by seven bags. And I didn't want to buy a new bag just to accommodate for this because it had to be at least this chunky right here where his cheeks and his body is to make sure that he fits the letter paper. And I wanted to keep his chunkiness on this side here. So eventually I want to move to this design. But since I still have a lot of these bags left, we are going to go with this design. Wilson's hand has some lines here so I can fold it that way his arm can go up and hold more things if someone orders a lot of things this is how the packaging looks like once there's something in there and then when they slip it out and there's Wilson it's like a peekaboo thing my husband named him Wilson because of his hair right here because it's a shape of a W here's a smaller one that will hold some die cut stickers let's get started on making some more Flower in the shade of a fair little jealousy 
So my package is finally here. I'm super, super excited. I'm also recording for TikTok, so it's gonna be kind of an awkward angle because my phone is up here right here, and then you guys are over here. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do this the best I can. Sunny Junior pens. And a monkey chains. Pawn front keychains. Sunny Junior, he looks so cute. I don't like where the pin is placed, and I'm afraid to take the pin off because I know that it can damage the image if you take it off. Look at that pin placement. What the heck? right here what I'm gonna have to try to <laughs> fix these so far the color looks good on them I'm really curious about this one the pond friend ones looks pretty good I have to take the film off to see if I like it or not now let's look at the kawaii friends one this one looks pretty good. It is a little smaller than the pond friend ones. This art piece in general is wider, so it ends up being smaller. But it still looks really cute. So the colors look really good. Before I submitted my art, I raised the saturation by 50% for each piece of artwork. And it's a really good thing I did because the Shiba Enya would be really, really light if I didn't do that. I'm just still going to keep the film on because when I put UV res on it, if the UV resin spills over, it'll get on top of the plastic and it'll come off really easy. I had that happen with one of Mr. Sun's and keeping the plastic on really helped with that little problem. The color looks pretty good on this one as well. Captain Froggo is lighter than he is in the picture, but it's also because since I put the saturation up by 50% before I sent it, it made him lighter. Pretty sure it would not turn out as nice if I didn't do that. Overall, I'm happy. It's just the, the pens. <laughs> the placement of the pens. Next time if I buy pens on them, maybe I'll ask them not to put the vacuums on them. I'll just put them on myself. I mean, despite the fact that the pins are in horrible placing, he looks really, really good. I really like how it looks. So I'm going to take a picture of the pin placements and I'm going to contact Sticker Mule and see what they say about it. So I sent an email to Sticker Mule and we'll see what they say in response to the pin backing. I basically asked for a refund on the pins because I know for a fact that I'm going to have to fix the backings and there's a possibility that when I do that that I'm going to mess the artwork up because the sticky part is right on top of whatever they use to put the art on the acrylic pin and since the backing isn't protecting the artwork there's a possibility that that sticky thing they use is going to messed up the artwork. I was hoping to UV resin the acrylic pens first because they're smaller and I could fit more of them into my UV lamp but since I have to wait for a response I guess we will work on the quiet animal keychains first because they're smaller than the pod friend ones. Today will be a full UV resin day and maybe tomorrow so I'll depend on how long it takes. Usually it takes about 30 minutes to UV resin to fully cure with my UV lamp. It's going to take a while to get through everything I have. Let's get started.
I got an email back from Sticker Mule. They were going to offer to reprint the Sunny Junior pens for free, or they would give me store credit for however much I paid for the pens. I went and tried to pull them off, and it came off really easy. In the end, I'm going to fix the pens with the UV resin and everything, and I asked for store credit. But it's still a little frustrating. The Kawaii Animals keychain is actually a lot harder to UV resin than Mr. Sun was because of the shape of the keychain. Mr. Sun wasn't that bad even though he was like kind of pointy. Here's Mr. Sun, he has like the pointy rays. Also I found while I'm pulling the little plastic cover off that some of my Kawaii Animal friends have some damage on the front. So there's like literally a like cut. So yeah, there's gonna be a couple of B grade Kawaii Animal Friends keychains. Right now I'm peeling the Mr. Sun keychains because I didn't peel the front of all of them off after I UV resin them the last time I did it. There's one more that I have to take the front off. But for the most part, the Mr. Sun keychains came really well. There's only one Mr. Sun keychain that has like a little dent near the keyhole area but that's not that bad compared to what i've already found on the kawaii animal friends i don't know i guess we'll see hopefully the rest of them aren't as bad but i will rate on those because i kind of want to work on the sunny junior pins i want to get the pin bags on there correctly and then get them all the way so i can finish the keychains So this one looks pretty good too. Even though I didn't peel them, they were better quality than the ones that I paid more for. So yeah, that really sucks. Maybe it's because the shape of the Quiet Animal Friends is more complicated than the Mr. Sun. And I'm kind of scared of checking the Pond Friend ones too, but right now I want to keep the plastic on them. So yeah, I'm going to keep on working on these. Wish me luck. I'm going to work on the pens now. I have a few of the Quiet Animals done, but Right now my priority is getting the Sunny Junior pins done. So yeah, let's continue what we're working on. Today is Thursday, April 15th. Last night I finished UV resining the back of the acrylic pens and it just took quite a while to do, but at least they're done now. And I woke up early this morning, pretty, pretty early. I wasn't planning to make a new backing for the pens or the keychains, but I went ahead and made a backing card for the Sunny Junior acrylic pen. I like how it turned out. The text on it is a little small, but it's okay. Let me show you guys how it looks like. So this is what I came up with for the backing card for Sunny Junior. And he fit under, under the rainbow really, really nice. And it'd be really, really cute. Since I only have 10 pens, I only printed 10 of the backings that I've printed extra badge button backings for future use. That way I don't waste the cardstock. So we're going to work on that and then after that I'm also going to start resining the rest of them which I'm not sure if I'm going to film that because I UV resin quite a few things yesterday. Acrylic pins are separated by the grades so there's six A grades, three B grades, and one C grade. The A grades have no chip or anything in the front of the acrylic and there's only a little bit maybe of chipping on the sides. The B grade pens have chipping in the front of the pen or somewhere. So for example, on this pen, a chip right here, where my thumbnail is right here. 
So that is a B grade. This one here is the only C grade. It's a C grade because you can see here, it has a little chip above the eye here and you can tell that it's slightly damaged from transit. So overall, I'm happy with how everything came out. My desk situation right now, I have folded over the parchment paper I was using. That way I have this small space over here to pin the pins and get them out of the way. So let's get started. Looks so cute! I'm so happy I made the packing! Hello, today is Friday, April 16th. The past two days I've been doing a lot of UV rides and stuff and I'm still, I'm not done. I should have known that it would take a really long time to resin 30 pieces. I have a really small UV lamp and with the resin I have and the light I have, the UV light I have is a 36 watt nail lamp. It's just taking a long time to cure the back. I think eventually I need to invest in maybe a bigger UV nail lamp and something more powerful or maybe a resin that cures faster but I have a lot of that resin for now so I'll just deal with that I'm taking a break from UV resin today because my thumb is actually starting to hurt from sliding the little contraption thing for the lighter up so I'm going to resume UV resining probably on Monday so today the only thing that I'm going to do is actually put the bows on one of each of the two keychains because I want to see how it looks like I'm not sure if I'm going to add beads to them yet because I don't have extra beads except for what I showed you guys a while back when I was working on the Mr. Sun keychains let's go try that take my hand and hold it tight look at the paintings I'll be your guide don't stop looking in my eyes are you cold do you want to sit down So I finished putting the bows and the beads onto the keychain and they turned out a lot better than I thought they would. I didn't think I would have enough beads because I usually don't buy this kind of stuff too often. These are beads that I've had around for a while and I finally have a use for them which is really really nice. The only thing about these keychains is that they're heavier on one side than they are at the other because I guess the placement the holes were put at and how my 
art was designed on there for example you can see here that this keychain is tilted to the right a little more because this is definitely not in the middle i think it'll be okay since it's a keychain it'll just be hanging off of your bag or whatever so i think it'll be fine that it's not straight it doesn't bother me that much so thinking that the shop update would be on april 30th because i do want to design at least one more piece of art to turn into a sticker or print or whatever before i launch the shop update because i want to add that into the april bundle out of the three acrylic things that i created which one was your favorite i really like all of them but i'm really really happy with the sunny junior acrylic pen sunny junior just looks so good in his packaging even though there were some frustrations with the acrylic stuff overall in the end I kind of already expected that. Although I had high expectations, I've already known about all the things that could happen with ordering their sticker meal. I will order from them again because I do have store credit with them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!